Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and uh, today I'm here with you for another yarn talk video. And as always, before we can really start talking about yarn, I'm here with my faithful mug of tea. And today this tea is containing a loose tea blend with a Darjeeling tea. It's a Darjeeling tea that I uh, buy in Germany. Germany is not that far from where I'm living. I am like... 15-20 minutes drive away from uh, the German border and there is a, um, a city there quite close to the border that we from time to time go uh, to do groceries in um, and that's where I get this tea and it's just you know classic Dajeling tea from the mountains of the Himalayas so nothing really fancy about it but it is rather nice because it is a loose tea blend and somehow loose tea blends just has a little bit more flavor than the backed ones Hmm. Still a bit warm, so I have to um, watch for my mouth not getting burned. It's getting autumn here in the Netherlands. Right now the sun is shining, but it has been rather cold. This is also why you're seeing me now in a bit more short-sleeved uh, versions, because yes, the temperatures has dropped with roughly 10 degrees Celsius or so, um, or even more compared to last week. So um, the autumn is really slowly coming here. Um, lots of things has happened, uh, but generally, um, I've had some time to progress on my, um, uh, work in progresses. No finished items, uh, started a new project, which we started, uh, started talking about last time. Though it's not that new for you guys, because you have seen it recently. Um, but yeah, since there's no finished projects, I usually talk about my projects from, um, um, the point of uh, start, uh, so I talk about them from when I start them, they come kind of go in, so they become uh, chronological, unless they are finished object, they will be first in the video, else I will start discussing them in the order that I began them, basically. And the first project is going to be a project that you're going to hear about a lot here in the coming months, um, because it is an eternity project, at least it feels like it. It is my mosaic blanket from uh, the designer Anke uh, Wintermans. Uh, it is named a Fleur. And uh, I've added another two rounds since last week. And I just need to keep track of where I have my corner so that I do not untangle or tangle my yarn. So right now, this is how it looks with another two rounds added. So. Um, I went another white row and now I just added another um, Bordeaux row. So we are now at row um, 45 out of 129. So as you can hear, we still have a bit to go. And I started on this New Year's Day last year, um, or this year, sorry. So it's it's been more than half a year in progress, but I only do, I don't even do around every week because I don't always have time for it, um, but I try to do something on it regularly um yet i'm now as mentioned a few times at a pace where i not cannot always guarantee full rows are uh, finished um i did though finish uh, ma 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 managed to finish exactly two rows of this but it, it easily quickly takes like an hour hour and a half to do a full row now uh or round because it is four rows basically and they're similar or equal um, I think it is getting more and more gorgeous. That's pretty much what to say. Um, it's definitely getting a lot nicer. Um, yeah, I like it. The back side is also looking quite nice. Um, this is basically the negative side of it. Um, and you will be able to see down here is where I start and in the rounds and I take the yarns with me on the go all the way up. Um, I do have two more rounds to go and then I will be changing out the Bordeaux. I don't have much left of it either, as you can see. There should be just exactly enough yarn to finish row 47. And then in row 49, I'm having a different color. So that's two more rows. Um, I also see how time flies. Uh, I still have more white left, um, unsure why, but um, I guess that's just how it works out. Um, you do one row at a time, 
uh, one row, one color, one row, another color, you alternate between uh, single crochets in the back loop and double crochets in the front loop of the previous row, basically. And that is how you make this all the way around. And there are um, lovely patterns that you can follow uh, to ensure that you actually get the pattern that you really want. Um, since it's a project where I really need to keep my eyes on a, well, I don't all the time need to keep my eyes on a pattern, but when I completed a row, the next rows are, uh, completed a quarter of the row, so the pattern row, so to say, um, repeating that three more times is reasonably easy. But until I have that first row repeated, uh, not row, well, side, um, I do need to, to, to be mindful of the pattern um, and that usually is just easier when I'm sitting at the table. And it is slowly getting into a size where it is getting a little bit more impractical to sit with. Um, but also the yarns tend to tangle a bit. So I thought it would be a great idea to actually uh, place them on yarn holders. And I realize now I have to wind up the yarns to actually easily do that uh, into cakes. Um, I'm using the Stylecraft Special DK yarns for it. Um, and um, it's a, it's a, obviously it's a DK yarn. It is premium acrylic. Um, it's 100 grams to three and a half ounces to uh, 299 meters. So it's like 320 ish or so yards. Um, yeah, um, it's working out nicely and I'm really looking forward to see the finished project, obviously. And then uh, when I'm changing into the more red, because it is going to go into red the next change, um, I will first cake up that yarn um, because then I can place it on my yarn holders. I do have these um, these spinning yarn holders where you can like place cakes and putting uh, a cake on here, I can take it from the outside and it will nicely spin around uh, to prevent tangling and jumping off the yarn skeins. Um, so I think that's going to help me out um, tremendously uh, with the next color because it has been a little bit impractical working on the skeins like I have this time around. Um, and just placing the skeins of those yarn holders, they kind of collapse and it doesn't work as easily. So I think really caking them up will be um, my best way to go. At least I will try for, uh, for the next skein and I will quickly find out if this is something I prefer and if that's the case. Um, I'll have to cake up more, um, but it is a likelihood that caking up these yarns is definitely going to be the way to go. So um, I'll be likely caking up more in the future. Um, the 4mm crochet hook is what I've been using for this project, and I am, of course, nicely just keeping track of how far I am. Um, but yeah, so um, that was another two rounds, so 45. Um, will I reach to do something before um, next time talk video? I don't know. With this project, it's always a little bit of a surprise as to um, what I have available of time to actually work on it um, and when I will do so. But so far, I'm happy with the progress I've been booking um, and I'm quite sure in a few weeks time, I have plenty of more time to actually work on it um, due to changes in life. For those that's been watching my morning lives, also, if you are watching my yarn talks regularly, you will be realizing that uh, in about two weeks time, um, I will be on a five week vacation basically because I need to hold all my patients before I end my current job. And then they are letting me go um, due to the project being removed from uh, the Netherlands, which means I basically have to find uh, either a new job or do something else. Uh, I have been self-employed before and I am debating, trying to see if I could maybe turn some of my crochet projects uh, into actual work. Um, and if that's the case, um, I wonder, um, I was wondering to actually document that progress of doing so. Um, my take on it is slightly ever so different because I'm not the amigurumi maker. I do not mind making amigurumis, but I'm not the biggest amigurumi maker. So therefore, I'm not expecting that is um, where it's mainly going to be. Um, I do more enjoy making the shawls and the bags and so on. And I'm also aware pricing crochet is difficult because if I am to price uh, the items that I make based on the amount of hours I put into it, um, 
it's not affordable for the average person. Um, so I think it's more important to ensure that you make profit and as long, well, it's important that you're happy with what you get from it. And if you think you price it fairly, um, is it a hobby or is it a business? A business is supposed to make money. Um, and yeah, I already do have another business, so I do know how to run businesses, at least on a sort of part-time scale. Um, it's it's been it's been bubbling in my mind to to make some sort of um, adventure um, in the sense of my world of crochet um, as a business. Because, of course, I have time to do it. You know, I will have some free time. Um, the next project that I started, uh, which haven't been finished yet, is my I-Core shawl. My I-Core shawl is the same as the Christmas shawl. Um, and the Christmas shawl I made last year uh, around Christmas with a Hobby Universe Christmas yarns. This time around, I'm making the I-Core shawl in um, Jana Rose Garden, uh, which is 100% cotton yarn. Um, and it's a cake, it's a Greek and cake. This is what I have left of the cake, so there isn't much left. So this shawl is soon going to be finished. Um, probably within the next couple of weeks for sure. If not sooner, it kind of depends. The issue, of course, is the quicker I finish this, the quicker I need to find a new project to start working on. Um, or I simply start focusing on wrapping up a few other projects because Time is kind of flying and I will have way more time to work on projects uh, once my work is wrapped up. And um, as of today, if you're watching this video on the Friday when I release it, um, I have somewhere between eight and nine working days left, depending on when during the day you watch it. And if it's on the Saturday, then it's eight. And then I have vacation and uh, I need to figure out how the world is so else around not having this job. Probably need to find a new one. If it's a good one, I'll take it. And if it's not, I'll look into maybe turning this a bit more into a business. And that's just how it's going to be. And then documenting that travel. Um, so the I Shawl, um, the lovely cake, Yarn at Rose Garden. As I said, it's a color transition yarn and it actually starts in a brown colorway all the way here. And then it transitions into these more green colors and it's getting more and more viable um, and visible for sure. And here you can see how the Christmas trees are showing up very nicely. I think it is a wonderful fall scarf. Um, with these colors, it does need blocking. For sure, it needs some blocking. But it's looking good. It's looking really good. And I'm really happy with the progress here. Um, blocking all of the things I have, which is pending blocking, because I have three items I need to block, which is actually either finished or almost finished. Um, it's something, oh, of course that I will also do when I have all this time off because I then have time to just get it done in a calm motion without feeling stressed about it. I can move furniture a bit around because I don't necessarily have it on the blocking board for a whole day um, and then I have a bit more room and space to actually block them because some of the projects are rather big they do need some space but this my friends is really really gorgeous and I'm really looking forward to seeing how once once that's complete, uh, how that turns out to be. Um, so yeah, that's the I-Core, the i shawl um, that I'm working on. And uh, the next project that I'm working on is the Thoughts of Ireland. Thoughts of Ireland is a 100% alpaca yarn project. It's a thin yarn. I am using a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. What you do notice is all of these hooks that I'm using, especially when they're six millimeters below, is my Clover soft touch hooks. Um, 
don't ask me why, but so far these hooks are just such a joy and pleasure to work with. Um, therefore, I quicker choose uh, these amongst the hooks that I do have available because they're just so smooth when they go through the yarns. And what I really should do is probably make a, a review. I have a bunch of different crochet hooks, so one day I should sit down and, and do a decent review. Um, I do have um, some stitch marker setting on this that is to help me keep track where I need to increase when I do have increases. And the next row I need to do on these are a row of a bunch of single crochets. So right now the Thoughts of Ireland is growing, but it's not growing as quickly because some of these rows are not. So in the beginning I did a lot of treble crochet rows and now it's a bit shorter rows that I am doing. But this is where we are at. And as I said, um, stitch markers are for me to help keep track. I'm not sure I need the center stitch marker anymore because they are slightly ever so, um, so skewed. But this is basically, if I go all the way back, I can just about be in the frame with this. Um, it also needs blocking and I do need to get specific soap for wool um, to, to do the block. And that requires me to uh, go to the supermarket and actually buy the wool one because I actually don't have any wool soap, realising that. Um, I probably should have. So um, I'm, I'm pleased with uh, the progress of this and, uh, and yeah, 100% alpaca. Um, I do have still some skeins here with the labels on. It looks like this. They are from Drops. It is my Drops design. I have patterns and links to patterns in the description box down below. The um, Fleur from Anke Wendermans is at Ravelry. It is a paid pattern on Ravelry, about 10 euros, a little bit less maybe. Um, the Icro Shawl is a paid pattern from uh, KAME Design. She's a Hungarian designer. Um, you can get it on Hobby. If you have Hobby Plus, you can download it for free. Um, you can also buy them on Ravelry, I believe. Um, and then, of course, Drops Alpaca. The drops pattern here from Thoughts of Ireland is a free pattern. It does require you to read it a bit, but it's not as frustrating as some of the other drops patterns I've had. So somehow this designer has done a little bit better. Of course, there is a chart for me to follow. I do not mind charts at all. I actually enjoy working from charts. Uh, somehow it's easier. It feels easier, but 100% alpaca yarn. It is their mix and that's because it's somewhat heathered in the look. Um, it's um, it's a lightweight, a very lightweight yarn. It's really a sport weight fine yarn. Um, it's a one weight, I would say. Um, it's their all time favorite. Uh, the colorway I believe is Olive, uh, which is the colorway is 7238. Um, it's a 50 gram skein, so 1.75 ounces to 168 meters, so uh, 67 meters, sorry, which is about 183 yards. Uh, yeah, and of course there are uh, should be washing instructions, but I actually don't see them. I'm surprised, but I'm quite sure this is a lay flat to dry. Um, it is made in Peru, so it's a Peruvian alpaca. Um, and it's very soft actually, so I'm kind of looking forward to see the finished um, the finished result of this shawl. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so progress has been made and it would need blocks. And this feels like it needs quite a bit of blocking um, or quite a bit of that when I'm blocking it. Um, but yeah, don't really know yet. But it definitely needs block because I can see that when I, I lay it down and I stretch it a bit, that the pattern really shows nicer. So it just needs blocking. That's just how it is. But we are we are progressing nicely on it. So I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I uh, haven't progressed as much as I thought I would, but maybe because I did some other things. Um, I think I will work more on this um, for the upcoming week at least. Yeah. Meanwhile, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I did start on a new project and we talked about some options uh, last week's yarn talk. One of them were some old, uh, it sounds odd to say scrap yarns, but they were they are in my scrap basket because it is the last bits I have left of those yarns and yarn brands. 
and I wanted to actually use those recycled acrylic yarns to make some hats by uh, double layering them. Um, and I found the crochet hook for the purpose and I started crocheting and it sounded so squeaky. The pattern I found also is not at the beginning a straightforward pattern and therefore I decided okay maybe it's better to actually because I do have some other yarns in mind for a similar hat uh, that I want to use and they are not double stranded um, it's a single strand yarn so I think maybe I should get that yarn um, and make the hat from it to actually know the pattern and then it's easier when you work a double stranded project to do it unless I just want to make a plain hat with double or half double crochets or something like that um, slightly ever so undecided, but eventually um, I'll probably just pop that out as hats. Um, because, yeah, um, so so the hat idea is a bit on a back burner um, until I've had the time to do some shopping. Um, I do want to go to the city, especially, as again mentioned, in a few weeks' time, I do get much more time on my hands. Uh, I'm going to go to the city to visit one of the stores to see if they might have uh, the yarns. Uh, it is some of our more value-minded stores. I've done tours of them in the past, but it's a long time ago. Uh, and I know some of you really want me uh, to take you with me um, visiting some yarn stores here in the Netherlands. So um, that is probably some of the time that I'm going to spend doing. Um, so instead, I actually decided to start on another... Uh, summer shower bag so a few weeks ago um, I finished this and I think actually two weeks ago you saw the finished version of this one it was done so this is the original version and I said there that I felt um, so I, I used exactly three skeins with a slight ever so little because I did a little bit of yarn chicken and then I said, oh, actually, I wish that the strap up here was just like a few rows longer uh, for when I'm carrying it over my shoulder. Um, and then I thought, yeah, if I'm making a new one, I can do that by... And, and since I don't have more than this yarn, I really need to make sure that I do have exactly the yarn I need. And I thought, hey, if I'm clever... Um, I'll do one row less on the bottom. It will be a slightly ever so smaller, but not much. And then I have that more yarn because each row up here, I also use that yarn extra because I have a few extra stitches. Now I'm saving those rounds so I can add a few more rounds to the strap. Um, I am debating if uh, I should make the strap um, two stitches smaller um, but at the same time, the heavier it gets, uh, the nicer it is if it's a bit broad. Um, so this is a current, and when I look at how it kind of lays on my shoulder, it does point out a bit. And I do add two rows, like I add a row of single crochet and then a row of um, slip stitches around. And it could easily be maybe two too small so i i do have enough yarn to do what i want i still have a whole skein to go plus i just started on new um these skeins are um 100 cotton it's not sorry it's a little bit monkey funky it's a medium cotton 100 cotton um so it's dk weight uh 100 grams so three and a half ounces to 150 meters 165 yards that's a good guess um, not a soft cotton cotton, but a cotton that's really working up nicely, having really good stitch definition for this bag. So, uh, and I really actually enjoy working with it. It's, it's lovely, straightforward. I do need to leave in some ends on this, but this is far I am on my bag number two. This is, um, bottom and, uh, the actual bag. And I do it, I do a few things slightly bit different so it will have a little bit different expression um, but fundamentally it's the same um, but not completely the same so one can say do you really need two bags no I don't um, so this one is either going to be a 
a present for someone or I'm going to succeed and I'm probably going to be selling it. Um, either to, if one of you are interested, um, hit me up by email. Um, my email you can find if you go to my YouTube profile. There is a place where you can actually contact me if you like click, click on the email. You can also write to me at buy.muhe at gmail.com. I will also I'll write my email address down in the description box down below if you're interested in this. Um, it's not going to be super expensive, but I do like to get at least my costs and shipping covered. And then maybe, um, yeah, it's so it's not going to be a lot. Um, it's probably like, you know, I'll be open for $20 to $25 plus shipping, depending on where you are. Um, or 20 to 25 euros plus, plus shipping. Um, that's my current thinking. Um, if I haven't heard from any of you, then around October, I'm probably going to put it up on uh, the Facebook marketplace uh, here in the Netherlands um, to see if there is anyone that could be interested in that for, for around that fees. Um, and if it doesn't sell, you know, I can always use it as a gift or as a prize in a giveaway or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that is what I'm decided. I'm working on this. I did work on this during um, this Wednesday's morning live tea video. Um, and I might work on it on the next morning live. The thing is, on Wednesday, uh, I'm not going to be live a Wednesday morning. I do have uh, other and other. Um, appointment so I will not be able to make it. Instead I do have a short video for you uh, of a yarn haul that I did um, of a mystery box. Um, so it's just a small one it's not it's not a long video uh, but I will post that up, up Wednesday for you guys. On uh, Monday you will have a new left hand tutorial for me coming up um, and then on Friday I'll be back with a new yarn talk video. Um, and that will be literally the last yarn talk video next week, Friday, that I will be doing while still in a full-time job. Um, crazy by the thought of it. Yeah, so as you can hear, I have plenty of things going around in my head right now. I really have many ideas. Uh, it could also be that I end up... Um, so I'll have three months on unemployment pay where I have the time to figure out what to want and actually to uh, apply for new jobs. Um, I do want, at least if I'm to work full time, I want a similar or better job than I had. Else I'm probably more looking into possibly working part time, uh, at least for a bit while figuring out stuff. Um, but as I said, I, I, you know, I want to make sure it's a job that I enjoy doing because it's something you spend so much time on during your life. And if it's not something I enjoy doing, uh, it might be better just to invest some time to see um, if, if this goes better. And I have a bunch of plans for this channel. Um, I have so many uh, content things that I want to make. And I really do get time to make them when we get to October. Um, so you will see a lot more uh, tutorial content coming up on this channel and comparison videos because I just have the time to do them um, and probably even go more live. Um, those will likely be um, during the US morning times during the week. Um, and yeah, we'll have to see where it all ends. Um, I don't know yet. Um, either it will be a success or I will conclude that I need to do something completely else. Yeah. Things are exciting. Um, please comment down below if there is anything you would like to know or if you have any suggestions or if there is anything you would like to see from me or on this channel. Please let me know. Um, I will take it into consideration because definitely, as I said, in October I do get more time and I will be more than happy uh, to see what I can do and cannot do. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe I should take you with me on my adventure. So thank you for letting me talk about Jan uh, for another half an hour. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching this if you're still watching it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done yet, because uh, that does support me. And of course, the thumbs up. Take care and happy crafting. Until I see you again. Bye.